Good day. Today we're going to do lesson plan number four, grade four, term two. Um, and the topic is breaking down numbers. The link to the DBE workbook will then be worksheet 32A and 33. I'm just quickly going to show you. Um, remember, you can do this worksheet or you can do the SA teacher worksheet at the end. So let's quickly then have a look at what we need to know in the caps. So this is the link to the caps. Um, this is then the point where you're going to stop. You're going to look at your resources. So let me just go there. So now you can pause. Um, we're going to look at the resources, um, interesting facts, and here's some subtraction table. Do it with your learners. Remember what we try to do is we try to keep them mentally fit by giving them challenges and some problem solving. Then um, we're going to do our mental mathematics. So here again, you're going to pause the video. You're going to show them the questions. They're going to answer it orally or write down the answers. Um, so it's now time to pause. Welcome back. I'm quickly going to reveal the answers. So we got the answers. I want you to pause and then mark the answers. Okay, so... What we're going to do today is we're first going to revise expanded notation. So the first one we're going to look at is 3,286. So what we have is, is 3,000 plus 200 plus 80 plus 6. So the next one is then 7,000 plus 600 plus 50 plus 4. I want you now to go do the, the next three orally. So it's time to pause. Welcome back. So um, the next one is then 5,000 plus 300 plus 20 plus 1. The next one is 6,000 plus 600 plus 50 plus 7. And then the next one is 8 thousand plus five hundred plus eighty plus nine check yours you can even check mine to see if i did it correctly um, and then we're going to carry on so what i want you to do is i want you to take out your flawed cards or your place value cards and we're going to place certain cards on your table so i'm just going to do this so i want you to Take an 8 and a 2, a 30 and a 70, a 500 and a 300, and a 6,000 and a 9,000. So after you've taken out those cards, I want you to put the units together. I'm going to put the units together, and then I'm going to put the, place the tens together, the hundreds together and the thousands together. So when we want to subtract, we always need to put the lot bigger number first. So let's look at the units. So I'm going to say 8 minus 2 equals 6. Here with the tens, I'm going to say 70 minus 30 is 40. With the hundreds, I'm going to say 500 minus 300 is 200. And here, I'm not going to put 6,000 first. I'm going to put 9,000 minus 6,000 equals to 3,000. I want you to pause the activity. And what I want you to do is to go to take out two units, two tens, two hundreds, and two thousand cards and do the same type of activity. Remember always to place the bigger number first when you subtract. Pause. Welcome back. So let's look at the first example. So the first example, uh, let me just move it up. So the first example, what we're going to do is we're going to subtract 4,687 minus 2,143. So what we're going to do is the first number in brackets, we're going to write 4,000 plus 600 plus 80 plus 7, exactly like you did with your expanded notation at the top. Then what we're going to do is we're going to subtract this number. So what do we do? We subtract 2,000 from that number. 
Then we subtract 100 from the first number. Then we subtract 40 from the first number. And then we subtract 3 from the first number. But how are we going to write it and to write it to make it easier? So we're going to do like we did in the activity before. We're going to group the thousands, hundreds, tens, and units together. So I'm going to take 4,000 minus 2,000 and write it in brackets. Then 600 minus 100 in brackets. 80 minus 40 in brackets. And then 7 minus 3 in brackets. And then we're going to subtract it. 4,000 minus 2,000 is 2,000. 600 minus 100 is 500. 80 minus 40 is 40. 7 minus 3 is 4. So now when I add that up, I get 2,544. What I want you to do now is to pause the video and explain this example to your teacher or to your parent. It's time to pause. Welcome back. We're going to do example number two. So with example number two, we're going to do exactly the same. So we're going to take 8,743 minus 5,684. So the number, we're going to take the first number and write it in brackets. And we're going to say 8,000 plus 700 plus 40 plus 3. And now we're going to minus this number from the first number. So we're going to say minus 5,000, minus 6,000, minus 80, minus 4. So now we're going to check. Remember what we want to do is we want always to make sure the first number is bigger than the second number. So let's check. 8,000 minus 5,000, it's fine. 700 minus 600, shop. 40 minus 80, what are we going to do? We can't just go and swap the numbers. We need to make a plan. So what are we going to do? So let's look at the next step. So we, we know that we can't say 40 minus 80. So what we're going to do is we're going to borrow 100 from the 700. So I borrow 100 and I'm going to write it here. And then the 700 becomes 600. And then the last one, what I'm going to ask is, I'm going to ask, can I say 3 minus 4? No, I can't. So I go to the next step. And what I did is I need to go and borrow. I need to borrow a 10 from 140. So from 140, I borrow 10. And this becomes then 13. But because I borrowed a 10, this must become 130. You can pause at this stage and you can go through these three steps. Okay, let's carry on. So now what we have is we're going to check again. We've got 8,000 minus 5,000. It's fine. 600 minus 600, 100%. 130 minus 80, yes. 13 minus 4. So yes, we always have a bigger number first and then a smaller number. So now we're going to group them together. So we're going to say 8,000 minus 5,000, 600 minus 600, 130 minus 80, and 13 minus 4. Then what we're going to do is we're going to say 8,000 minus 5,000 is 3,000, 600 minus 600 is 0, 130 minus 80, now, is 50. If you struggle with that, we're just going to say 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130. So we counted five tens. So it's 50. And then we're going to say 13 minus 4 is 9. And we're going to add it up. And we get 3,059. I want you to pause and then quickly go through all the steps again. Let's go to example number three. Now, example number three is a different method. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, 
use arrows to explain what we think. This is a brilliant method later on to do mentally. So what you will see here is we got 4,687. But we're not going to break up this number. We're only going to break up the second number. So what we're going to say is 4,687 minus the 2,000. So I'm going to minus that. So what's going on in my head? After I minus it, I only have 2,687 left. What do I need to go and subtract next? I need to subtract or minus 100. So I take now that number that I have in my head and I minus 100. And then I get 2,587. So now what I need to do is I need to go and subtract 40. So I'm going to take that number and I'm going to subtract 40. And then I get 2,547. And lastly, I need to subtract 3. So I'm going to subtract 3 then from that number and I get 2,544. Excellent example when we do need to subtract bigger numbers in our head. Well done. What I want you to do now is to go to your DBE workbook or to our SA teacher worksheet that what we have here. And I want you to do question number one, two, and three. We recommend certain methods. Um, it's your teacher and parent's choice also to use the methods they prefer. What I will suggest is that we use the different methods so we can have different skills at a later stage when it comes to things like algebraic thinking. Good luck. I want you to pause and I want you to do then ex cal um, calculate one and two and then three. So let's then come to the problem solving. The problem solving again, I gave you tips previously how to add it. So, or subtract or multiply or divide. So how to solve the problem? Here again is you go, you need to identify your numbers. Um, how much does my uh, how much money does he have left? So my brother saved five thousand two hundred sixty seven. He spent one thousand eight hundred ninety nine on some new electronic equipment. How much money does he have left? So the left gives us an indication that we need to subtract. I've got a few extra activities here as well, ideas on, um, you could play any card games or so on um, uh, where you go to subtract. Um, so the extra activities, remediation, if the learner struggle, do the same, but make use of different colors so they can see when to subtract which number. What I also did is I didn't um, use thousand, hundreds, tens and units, but only hundred, tens and units, what they have done um, previously. Um, then the consolidation, um, the consolidation of before we go here, um, I just want to correct this is SA teacher, teacher eStore.co.za, um, we, you can purchase the lesson plans, the one that I'm done now, or the worksheets, then we go to consolidation, if it's yeses, you carry on, if you've got noes, you need to revise, revisit, or you need to contact us at SA Teacher. Thank you very much.